All right, guys, how are you all doing? Thanks for tuning back at JWTV. And today, if you haven't already guessed, we are doing another shocking transfers. Sorry, guys, but this is all I can bring you. It's the latest football news. I haven't really, as I said, this is the transfer news and just general news. But the general news has been transfer news. And because FIFA 16 has faded out... I will no longer be doing FIFA 16 videos, but once FIFA 17 comes out, guys, it'll be FIFA 17 content, pack openings, road to glories, online seasons, and anything else you guys want to see. I'm looking to get it a couple of days after it comes out, and I'm looking to do quite a big pack opening. I'm going to see what pack openings I can do, so if you want to see that pack opening, if you want to see it with me, if you want to do it with me, then just give this video a like, subscribe to not miss it. And I will see you when FIFA 17 comes out for that pack opening. But, anyway, on with the video. It has been reported earlier today that Watford have won their battle to sign Juventus midfield at Roberto Pereira for a fee of £30 million. I think it is, or €30 million. Euros. Either way, it's in that kind of budget. Now, if Watford seal the deal, and I believe they already have, I think that's an absolute bargain. You get in a player who's played in the best Serie A club with the likes of Dybala, Higuain, Pogba, Buffon, Chiellini coming to Watford for £13 million. Oh, um, That's much better than the Benteke deal. If we compare Benteke, OK, Benteke's a striker, Pereira's a winger slash attack midfielder. He can play winger. But Liverpool want £32 million for Benteke, whereas Watford... Whereas Juventus have accepted £13 million for Pereira. I think that's a bargain. I think that is an absolute bargain. I think he's a great player. He's 25. He's still got many years' experience in him. And for what he can win and what he can bring to Watford, I think that's what Watford need. So, like the Heze video where we talked about his style of play, his honours, there are many things we're going to talk about for this one, but we're going to talk about the three main ones. Obviously the honours, because that proves how good he is, what he can win, if he works well in his team, etc. We're going to talk about his honours, his style of play particularly, because his style of play is unique as what I've been read and heard. So we will talk about that. And finally, his goals, clubs and work rates. So let's start off with the simple one, the honours. He's won the Serie A three times, I think it is, 2014, 2015 and 2016. He's won the Coppa Italia, I think in... 2014, 15 and 16, I'm not sure, I'll have to double check for you guys, but if you guys know what Pereira's won the Cup through Italia and Serie A in what years, you guys leave that in the comments down below. So, he's won the Serie A, Cup Italia, and I forgot what else he won, I think he's won an Argentinian Cup, sort of a, na a national cup. But I'm going to check back for that for you guys, and that will be posted on my Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, so... All social media is at the end of the video. If you read the description in the descri description box below, it says note all social media is at the end of the video. So even if you don't want to listen to me babble on about the Watford signing, just go go to the end of the video, go check my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and go give me a like or a follow on there. And that will be greatly appreciated. But I will check what National Cup Pereira's win and that will be either on my Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. So... Honours is out of the way. He's won the Coppa Italia and International Cup and the Serie A. Serie A and Coppa Italia, I think, three times and the National Cup once. Let's go on to next games and goals because the style of play is the biggest topic that I want to talk about and that requires a lot of details. So, uh, I think he came to Juventus from River Plate in which he looked a very good... If he's coming to a top club like Serie A, he must have shown great promise. He must have shown great goals. Uh, he must have been played a lot shown good work rates, all that kind of stuff. And in Juventus, he's played, I mean, if he's won it 2014, he's probably been at Juventus three years, is it, guys? This is another fact I'm unsure of. So, again, if you guys know this, you guys leave it in the comments below. But he's had about three seasons. I think he scored... I think he scored uh, over 40, 50 goals, I think it is, in his career at Juventus, which, is, which isn't a bad deal at all. And he's got many informed cards on FIFA to show that. He's got some team seasons, I think, on previous FIFAs, such as FIFA 13 and 14, and he's got some informs on 15, 16, etc. So, 
The informed cards on FIFA prove he's informed in real life and show that he's a hard worker and he's a mentality player with, with good traits all around. Which is what we're coming on to now, his style of play. His style of play has been regarded as many aspects as a... Don't worry guys, before I mention, we will discuss the main topic which before, which is the impact. So after we've discussed the style of play, I'll do an overall summary of the impact I think it will have on him. But getting into the style of play. He's been regarded as a very good attacking midfielder and winger. He's got great athleticism. He's got a great athletic ability. He, stamina, he's been regarded as uh, having good stamina. He's got good vision to pick out passes, which is something you want. If you if he's coming to Watford and you have Dean and Igalo, who are both very strong players, very good in the air, if you have that Pereira, who's got that pinpoint vision to pin to pin the pass on to Dean or Igalo, it could be a promising player, he could be a chance creator, a playmaker. He could even be an attacker, he could score many goals. He's got a decent curve, he's quick, he's agile. Again, he's got good vision, he can pass, he's a good finisher. And he's pretty strong. From judging by his FIFA stats and what I've seen in game, uh, in Juventus' games, he looks very strong and he seems to have very good balance on and off the ball to perhaps out-muscle or maintain his balance if a defender does come in for the tackle to shimmy past them and then cut inside, push on for goal or whip a ball into the to the box. So that's his style of play. Very good vision, very great athletic ability. Quick, agile, quite strong, good balance, good vision to seek out the likes of Dino Rigallo. He can be regarded as a playmaker, an attacker. He's got good work rates. He's, he's a hard-working mentality player, so he can track back, go forth. He can defend. I think he's one of the few... Attacking midfielders on FIFA that is in the over 70 club. He's got about 72 defending and 74 physical on FIFA, which does show his mentality to get back and track back, also have that strength to defend because if FIFA's as lifelike as, life -like as they say, why not put it in this video? So, so now the final bit, the overall. What impact will it have? I think it'll have a great impact. I think Watford have got a bargain. 12 million for Pereira, I think that's a bargain. I think the impact is fantastic. If he can be that playmaker that Dini Rigallo perhaps need to get it onto Dini's head or to get it through to Rigallo with a lobbed through ball or an incisive uh, ground through ball, I think he could be a great playmaker as well as an attacker, as well as a defender, as well as a winger. Uh, with Watford having Mario Suarez, if they prefer him playing at Camel centre mid, you could then push Pereira out to the wing and he could drill, on, drill down that wing, whipping the ball. And maybe seek an assist. So I think the impact it will have on Perez's career is a positive impact. Despite he's going to not as big as club, he's going to a better competitive league. Yes, so he can prove himself a lot more. But he is going to a lower class club. But I think it's a great move. 12 million. And I think he's going to play every game. I think he's going to assist the likes of Dini. I think Dini need play. Dini needs a playmaker like him. So does Agarlo. And I think... Pereira needs strikers like them. Not that Diabaro and Higuain are good enough because they are, but I think it will just suit Pereira more. Due to his vision, his stamina, his athleticism ability and his ability to pick out passes, I think coming to Watford and getting a, ball, a drilled ball into the locks of Dean, who's very strong, very tall, Sam with Agarlo, who's quite strong, quite tall, and maybe being that playmaker, I think it's a, it's a good move for Pereira. So, that will be it for this video, guys. The, this was mainly done due to the price tag. I can't believe he's going for 12 million. I'd expect nothing less than 20 million for a lot for Pereira with that sort of ability who can do all that. Defend, attack, great vision, pass, uh, shoot, finish, stamina, all that. I'd have expected no less than 20 million. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope I have kept you up to date with... With all the transfer news going on. If you guys still enjoy my channel. You know what you got to do. Drop this video a like. Subscribe to not miss any more football news. Or when Fear 17 comes out. Make sure all of you hit all of you are watching this video now. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. To not miss any latest football news. And any latest FIFA 17 news. So that will be it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. And until next time. I'll see you later.